Hello everyone, my name is Oxy here, and today we're going to be taking an ADHD test. And so I've always wondered, do I have ADHD? I'm not sure if I have ADHD or not, but we're going to check here and see what's going on. I am 21, you know, that's that drinking age. Alright, I don't drink that much, alright. Newly diagnosed, yes, I have, I have no clue. Alright, do you often have, uh, do you often have difficulty sustaining your attention while doing uh, something for work, school, hobby, or fun activity. Ever meaning focus during your lectures, lengthy readings, or conversations? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Like, uh, there'll be times, like, in, during lectures, I actually cannot, like, I cannot focus. Like, I'll be thinking of maybe something else, like, maybe, like, the work I have to do afterwards or something else like that. You know what I mean? It's not, it's never the same. Um, do you often, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, how often are you easily distracted by external stimuli like something in your environment or unrelated thoughts? <laughs> this, <laughs> this, ain't looking, this ain't looking too good. Uh, uh, we, might, we might be uh, diagnosed already from two questions. <laughs> uh, this is bad. This is bad. All right. Never mind. We're just we're, we're good. Um, how often do you avoid, dislike, or are reluctant to engage in tasks that require sustained mental effort? No, I don't avoid these things. Like, I'll I'll be like, uh, like, there's some things that I actually don't like to do, like reports for engineering that are garbage and don't need to be made. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. The, those things, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm all right with those. I'm all right. Uh, how often do you have trouble listening to someone, even when they are speaking directly to you? No. All right. Um, so, I really, I don't find myself thinking something else when when someone's talking to me i actually listen very well um i'm like i'm like a like a bat i can hear the vocal cords i can hear everything vibrating up in there yeah i can hear it all man i'm i'm right with you there uh how often do you have difficulty in organizing an activity or tasking or task needing to get done poor management time fail to meet deadlines uh, rarely. There are times where, like, I don't meet deadlines just because of, like, some work that is just pain. Like, it's really fucked up, man. Like, I, I really, like, there, like, one, one thing recently was, like, this lab. I just, I really couldn't, man. Like, the lab was just killing me. I could not. It was, it was so hard and it took forever. How often do you fail to give close attention to details or make careless mistakes in things such as schoolwork at work or no? careless details? Never. I am an engineer and I'm the best out there. Never. I'm a, I am the man when it comes to that. Uh, how often do you forget to do something? Uh, wait, how often do you forget to do something you do all the time such as missing an appointment or paying a bill? I don't miss appointments. I never miss an appointment. But then again, I haven't made an appointment for myself. You know what I mean? Next. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, how often do you lose, misplace, or damage something that is necessary to get things done? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> All the time. There'll be times where I'm soldering something or like I'll be doing something. Get out of your fly. We're going to fight. Get, get out of my face. It's like it has the entire room to be, and it's like in my face. Get out of here. Get out of here. Anyway, um, yeah, no. no just, just right then. Just right then. All right, but no, there'll be times where I, like, I'm trying to, like, I'm going out or something like that, right? Or I'm soldering something, and I literally forget where, like, one of the most necessary things are. Like, if it's, like, the soldering iron, and it's, like, five, like, five paces, like, next to me or something like that. It's really weird. It's really weird sometimes. How often do you have trouble following uh, through instructions or failing to finish schoolwork chores or duties in the workplace? Uh, you start a task but quickly lose focus and are easily sidetracked. Um, all right, so this comes down to, like, things that I'm, like, interested in and not interested in. Because, like, with things I'm interested in, I will literally be laser-focused. With things that I'm not interested in, I really won't give a fuck. So, lose focus or easily sidetracked. I would say sometimes. Um, following through instructions or failing to finish schoolwork. Uh, I don't finish. I don't really mess up with schoolwork and stuff like that. You know what I mean? 
How often are you unable to play or engage in leisurely activities quietly? Dude, I am quiet. I am so quiet. I am so quiet. I'll be late. I am literally super quiet when it comes to like activities and stuff like that. I am like super quiet. How often do you have uh, difficulty waiting your turn? Such as while waiting in line. I never find myself actually like worrying about myself in line. Like I don't, at some point I'm going to get to the front of the line, right? And me scrolling through Facebook for 10 minutes is is not a problem you know what i mean like or like instagram it's not it's not really a problem for me um how often do you feel like you're you are on the go acting if, if what what the, my brain how often do you feel like you are on the go acting as if you are driving or driven by a motor you are unable to be or uncomfortable being still for an extended period of time, such as a restaurant or a meeting. Um, I would say, I would say, like I, like even I do shake my leg, like when, like with certain activities, like let's say I'm sitting down or something, I do shake my leg, or like I do like this thing. You might, you guys might like see that I'm shaking a little bit, but those are my legs, and like I'm shaking them. So I would say, I would say sometimes, but there are times where I'm like, I'm completely still. So I would say sometimes, sometimes. How often uh, do you leave your seat in situations when remaining seated is expected? I never leave my seat then. How often do you uh, leave your seat in situations? Never. I don't leave my seat if I'm in like a work pace or something. I really don't leave my seat. How often do you blur out? Uh, an answer before a question has been completed. Never. <laughs> I rem I know those kids, dude. I know those kids, and I don't want one. To I don't want to be one of those kids, man. That's the know-it-all, which is good. But I'm not a know-it-all. I'm a dumb boy. All right, let's go. Part three. Part three. Um, how often do you feel restless? Uh, like you want to get out and do something. Often, actually, I feel like I I want to do something all the time yeah i feel like i want to do something all the time i don't i don't know why but I, it's just that's how i am how often do you fidget with or tap your f hands or feet or squirm in your seat dude i'm doing it right now i'm literally doing it right now <laughs> um uh, yeah yeah i'm just gonna leave it as often how often do you find yourself talking excessively uh I don't talk excessively unless I have to. Like I said, I'm very, I'm more, I feel like I'm more introverted than I am extroverted. So, so how, for, uh, how often do you find yourself uh, talking excessively? Nah, not really. Not really. Like rarely. Like, uh, I don't say, I'd say never because I never really talk as much as I need to. Uh, how often do you interrupt or intrude on others, such as butting into their conversations or taking over what they're doing? Never. I don't butt into people's conversations and stuff like that. That's not me. I, I like listening to people talk. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be. I'm the best listener out there, especially with like, like girls that have trouble, right? And they like they just want to like talk and like vent to somebody, dude. I'm, I'm a one for that. I'm the best. Uh. So if you have any girls, you know, send them through. I mean, never mind. Um, we were several. Uh, um, <laughs> were several of the symptoms uh, present present prior to age twelve? No, I'm twenty one. Uh, no. Well, oh no, no. Were they before twelve? No, no. Do the symptoms appear in at least two or more settings at home and at school? Um right now and at school sometimes yes i would say yeah so all right the results of your adult attention deficiency uh, deficient uh, disorder test you scored a 19 okay what does that mean all right so based on your responses to this adult adhd screening quiz you will appear to have some symptoms of consistent uh with a possible diagnosis of attention deficient disorder uh, but you may not qualify for the, the diagnosis of ADHD. Some people with so scores similar to yours have sought professional treatment for this concern. Others have not. 
Uh, you indicated a several symptoms before 12. Nah, because I remember when I was before 12, these symptoms really didn't happen. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like, before I was 12, no, 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 they didn't, they didn't happen. When I was, I was very, uh, I wouldn't say strict, but I was like, I was very, uh, I don't know. I was very aware. Um, you indicated that the symptoms occurred in more to, yeah, that's true. That's true. They do happen at school and just right now they happen at home. For, for ADD or ADHD to be diagnosed by a mental health professional, usually the symptoms must occur in at least two different settings. Yes, uh, yep. And they must have it lasted for six months. Oh, dude, this has been going since I was probably, like, in high school. Like, in high school is when I got, like, the... I, I managed to find my own, like, shake. Because everybody has, like, their own shake. Like, one taps, like, their pen on the desk or, like some some person will like tap their foot or like shake their foot i i'm a i'm a swayer i'm a sway guy i'm like a <laughs> i sway so much all right so this this is what the scoring is okay so i i scored a 19 so i i it's possible right it's possible that i have adhd there are some symptoms no symptoms um so if i scored at least a 26 or something i would have a moderate case of ADHD and if I was 34 and up I'd have adult ADHD which is fair which is fair but if you'd like to take this test for yourself and figure out if you have ADHD or not because this is very eye-opening I didn't know that I would have m some symptoms of ADHD it's it's weird um, you know it's good it's good to know some things but if you guys haven't uh, already like taken a test like this or would like to take a test I'm gonna leave this in the description below uh, also, you could see my social medias and all my. I, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. So if you'd like to go see me there, talk, uh, answer, you know, have me answer questions, interact with me, uh, feel f feel free to, to drop that. Um, go check that out. Also, be sure to subscribe and follow on all my social medias. But that's gonna be the end of the video for today, and I would like to see you guys goodbye or say goodbye to you guys but uh i don't want to no i'm joking all right but um you guys have a great night and a great evening or a good morning or whatever you guys have and thank you guys for watching